Algebra 1. We've been talking about inequalities, and now we're going to translate words or phrases into inequalities in 4.5a. So far, we've learned that there are clue words in word problems that can help us to write equations. Well, word problems have clue words that can also help us write inequalities. Sometimes an inequality is needed to solve a word problem instead of an equation. So these are easy. If you see is more than, then we know it's the greater than sign. Or if it says if it's less than, it's a less than sign. But if it says it is at most, then that means it's a less than or equal to. And if it says is at least, then it's a greater than or equal to. Because it can't be any smaller than that. And we'll discuss this with some examples right over here in a second. If it says is as much as, it means it's the same as, it's equal to it. If it says is as much as or more, then that means it's equal to it or greater than. If it's as much as or less, then it's less than or equal to, isn't it? Is at least or more means it's greater than or equal to. And at least or less means less than or equal to, all right? So let's decipher these and see how I got to those symbols. So a number x is greater than 5. Well, that's the easy one. x is bigger than 5. x is greater than 5, okay? What about this one? A number b is less than or equal to 3 and a half. Well, that's just like the, reading the symbol, isn't it? b is not more than 3 and a half. It's less than or equal to. So it could be 3 and a half or less. So we use the less than or equal to sign, see? How about a number A is at least 2? So if it's at least 2, it could be 2, or it could be more. It cannot be any more smaller than 2. The least it can be is a 2. So now we can use a greater than or equal to sign because it says it could be 2 or more. See? If I said I'm going to give you at least two pieces of candy, well, I could be giving you more. I could give you three, couldn't I? So it's greater than or equal to, all right? The number y is at most three-fourths. So y isn't more than three-fourths. It says at most it's three-fourths. That's the cutoff. So it isn't more than three-fourths. It could be three-fourths or it could be less. If I said I'm going to give you three-fourths of a million dollars, at most, three-fourths of a million dollars. That means I'm not going to give you any more than that. I could give you any amount less, right? I might give you three-fourths of a million dollars, but I'm not going to give you more than that. So it isn't more than three-fourths. It could be three-fourths or less. So that means y is less than or equal to three-fourths. See? If you have trouble figuring out what it's saying, try plugging something real in, like the money or the candy, to see if it makes sense. 4 is greater than or equal to some number q. Well, that pretty much sounds like we're reading it, doesn't it? 4 is greater than or equal to q, some number q. And it just writes out just the way it's being read, isn't it? How about this one? 12 more than twice a number is 12 less... I'm sorry, 12 more than twice a number is less than 20. 12 more than twice a number. Well, twice a number is 2n, isn't it? And if we have 12 more, we're going to add 12 to 2n. And it's less than 20, so we add 12 to 2n, and it's less than 20 becomes 12 plus 2n less than sign 20. See? So I have an entire playlist of algebra word problems, and there's like dozens of word problems in there of every kind. So if you go to this description of this video, there'll be a link to it, and then there'll be some links to some other helpful videos, okay? So we're going to actually do some example word problems in the next video that are pretty typical for inequalities from word problems, and hopefully that'll be a good guide for you to see how to do this, okay? We'll actually try some. And that'd be 4.5b. I hope you're doing okay. Keep trying. You'll be okay. We'll do this together. Bye.